What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and today we're gonna be taking a look at Zer for week number 36. So Zer is gonna be on the speaker side of the tower and uh, this is the last week of Zer uh, before House of Wolves. So here we go. So here's his inventory for this weekend. Starting off with the Titan, we have the insurmountable skull fort helmet. Melee hits replenish grenade energy, replenish health when you pick up an orb, and storm fist kills regenerate health and spawn with melee energy. Not a bad helmet at all. It's pretty good for replenishing health if you play Crota a lot. And overall, it's a pretty decent uh, Striker Titan helmet. Um, but there are better helmets in the game, like the Helm of Saint 14 and exotics like that, especially with the new exotics coming to House of Wolves. If you want to save your strange coins, you can go ahead and do that instead. For the Hunter, we have the Knucklehead Radar Helmet. It has grenade hits, restore melee energy, more super energy from non-guardian kills, and radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons. Pretty much mainly toward PvP because having a radar is more useful in a Crucible. But overall, a decent helmet. I'd prefer the Acleophase Symbiote or the Mask of Third Man over these two. And also, there's other new exotics. So overall, this week, if you're not running high on Strange Coins or you don't have a surplus of it, I'd suggest holding on to it because there might be some good stuff next week when Zer comes on the first week of House of Wolves. You might see some new exotics. Like how um, the first week of Dark Below, I believe he sold Ruin Wings, which was uh, the first time he sold a DLC exotic. So a lot of people bought that, I'm guessing, and uh, it's good to save it going into the new expansion. For the Warlock, we have the Apotheosis Veil Helmet, melee hits, replenish grenade energy, replenish health when you pick up an orb, and activating your super regenerate your health. Pretty good, actually, for Crotozan as well. And sometimes can be useful in certain situations. Activating your super, regenerating your health is good in certain situations as well. And then for the weapon, he's selling the Truth Rocket Launcher. A really good avoid rocket launcher. If you don't have a Galahorn or something like that, I'd say that this is a really good pickup if you're looking for a good avoid uh, rocket launcher. Um, pretty useful, can be pretty good going into the Prison of Elders. Uh, when there's like void burn on in a certain round. Uh, so for that, I'd suggest the rocket launcher. Um, the helmets are kind of just okay. I'd If I had to recommend one thing, if you only want to buy one thing, I'd recommend buying the truth instead. Um, it's 17 strange coins, not too much. Um, but the perks on it are rounds fire from this weapon, seek their targets aggressively. And it has the grenade and horseshoes perk, which is really good in crucible. Rockets from this weapon detonate early based on the proximity. Um, that's really good. That's the best rocket launcher perk in uh, PvP. So if you're looking for a good rocket launcher for Crucible going into the Trials of Osiris, um, now that you can re-roll your weapons going into the new expansion, you should look for that perk um, when trying to get a good rocket launcher for Crucible. And then of course he's selling the exotic shards which can be useful. Um, another thing you could buy is so you can ascend your exotics for uh, next week. And he's also selling the engram. And um, for the upgrades, all these stuff, I wouldn't suggest upgrading anything because you can just ascend it going into the next DLC. So pretty much uh, this is the last time we're going to see him offering upgrades. And yeah, the only thing I'd suggest are telemetries, the heavy ammos, the shards, and the truth. So that's about it. That's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.